Hello! So, in this uh, short session, I want to show you how to prepare your body to Parigasana. Parigasana is quite a challenging pose and it is important because it teaches you how to stretch the sides of the body. And in Parigasana, you stretch one side at a time. In many other poses, you need to stretch both sides, like in Shirshasana, you need to lift the two sides up. So, we're going to use a chair yoga chair, so you, you should have a yoga chair. It's nice to have a thin sticky mat for pedaling and you need to have a good access to the wall. So we'll begin, sit upright. Observe your buttocks, how they <coughs> ground on the, on the grounded on the, on the blanket. Relax your groins. Relax your shoulders, all your shoulders back and gently close your eyes and relax them. Bring your hands in front of the chest. Make yourself quiet. Observe your breath, slow soft inhalations, slow soft exhalations. Relax your belly, relax your face. And we'll chant Om. Chest, exhale, head down, surrender the brain to the seat of the heart with gratitude and a good ambience for the coming class. Release your hands, slowly lift your head, open your eyes and we'll begin. So we'll start in Utita Hasta Padangushta lateral and you need the wall on the side. And you place, place the uh, chair such that the backrest of the chair is a few centimeters or one, two inches away from the wall. Okay, and then you measure the distance to the wall such that you Standing leg will be vertical. Okay, and then the, once you have the distance, put your foot on the seat of the chair and relax and move the buttock down. Okay, so we lift the leg. The pelvis also tends to tilt. So we want to have the pelvis more aligned. So the buttock should go down. And then you also tighten the buttock in and using your hands you move the, the knee back and you move the thigh back okay so you start to open laterally shoulders back lift your chest shoulder blades in inhale and exhale okay and then you straighten your leg and again once you lift the leg back down thigh back of the standing leg and chest up, put your hand on the inner knee and the other hand on the hip bone here and open laterally. With inhalation you extend from the inner groin to the inner heel, exhalation tighten the buttock, right buttock in. So inhale, exhale and open yourself. Then you stretch your arms and you go sideways so this is very much like Utita Trikonasana, okay, so, but from here we want to start to stretch the left side. Okay, so you start to go down, catch the backrest of the chair, and then this movement of the arm of Utita Parshvakon to the wall, 
and pulling the backrest, turn the chest to his exhalation and look up. Again, sharp exhalation, pull with your right hand the, ba the backrest and turn. And once more. And then put your hand on the seat of the chair and try to go closer to the wall. If possible, catch the frame of the chair here or the leg of the chair and go deeper into the pose. And then inhale, come up. And then you do the other side. So I'll show it from the back. So you have the distance to the wall and you want the buttock to be down. So you start like this, buttock down, buttock in, knee back, move your belly to the right and lift it. Inhale and exhale and open. Inhale, lift, exhale, open laterally. Inhale, lift, exhale, open. Then you put your foot against the wall. The standing leg should be perpendicular. And again, open yourself. Inhalation, extend the inner leg. And when you exhale, open. Move the thigh back, move the hip bone back, and the buttock tighten in. Make sure to descend this buttock down. And then inhale. And with exhalation, go down. So this is like Uttita Trikonasana. But from here we continue. Take this hand down. You can put a block here to support or just the tip of the finger. And this movement of the arm, the upper arm, close to the back of the ear and try to go still more. Catch here, exhale, turn. Catch, pull, and again, and then inhale, come up. Okay, step into the asana, inhale and exhale. Continuing from here, we'll go one step lower. And first we use the chair to help us to extend and to rotate. So I continue to show on my right side. So you kneel the chair in the right side and place your foot against the chair here. Make sure this is vertical. And then stretch your arm and you go sideways and put your hand on the chair. So using your hand you can activate this shoulder blade and move it in. With exhalation and then look up and then turn this arm, stretch it and move it to touch the back of your ear and then try to slide more. Pushing against the chair, you can support yourself on the chair. You have to move the buttock in and maintain this thigh vertical. Let's do the other side. So, the heel should be in line with this knee. So just observe that you're in line. This thigh vertical. And from here you go the knee cap up, turn the thigh out, back in. Inhale, exhale, go to the chair. So you have the support of the chair and you can also pull the chair to activate the shoulder and shoulder blade. But again, don't allow the buttock to stick out. Take it in. Tailbone in. Inhale. 
and then the arm and you continue try to catch here the frame of the chair and go still down inhale extend your body exhale go down inhale and if possible you can even catch with the top arm and come up next one in order to make sure that the back leg that we kneel on is vertical the thigh is vertical we use the wall so I put my sticky mat against the wall here and the chair will be here right, so now you can see that the leg is vertical the thigh is vertical and the chair is here and you place your foot against the chair this way lift your arm but again inhale and exhale so you need to touch the wall and as you go to the pose don't lose this contact of the outer thigh outer hip with the wall okay so inhale extend yourself move the chest up and then you go down catch here and pull and then the other arm and try to go farther but make sure you are not detaching from the wall here as you bend and try to catch the seat here or the leg whatever you can catch and pull the turn okay and then try to go further and extend the top arm also now you can turn this hand so you extend yourself and you stretch the sides of the body like in Urdhvastasana side okay so this thigh outer thigh in contact with the wall knee and the heel in line but again turn the thigh out pull the kneecap in open the foot inhale exhaling go to the pause try to catch here and pull this to turn the arm, turn the biceps out, move the shoulder blade in. Now if possible go a little bit farther and pull and then so you see how slowly I pull myself and with the inhalation extend, exhalation turn. You can catch the back of the seat and go all the way and then come up. Sit in Patrasana to release the hamstrings. And inhale and exhale. So gradually we're opening the body laterally and extending the hamstrings. So you can go gently as much as you can and if something is difficult you can always go back to the previous step. Next we use the chair upside down. So we can use the legs of the chair to pull. Again, we use the wall here to make sure this is vertical. And the chair needs to be slightly closer, such that you can put your foot 
on the back of the seat and you go down catch first here okay. again but again turn the thigh out pull the knee up catch the leg of the chair try to go a little farther but you see now I lose a little bit of the contact so I go back make sure that I maintain the contact here and then I, tr I want to stretch okay, and then you catch here catch here and exhale and turn exhale and turn and at the same time you need to lift the inner thigh inner groin and keep your hip out your hip in contact with the wall and I'll come up okay so using the chair you have anchors to catch and to extend yourself and to help you to turn foot against the chair okay Okay, so you have to adjust the distance and make sure the knee and the heel in one line. Inhale, exhale, go down, start slow. You can even turn your hand and catch this way and pull the chair, the bow of the chair, this rung of the chair, to turn the chest. Inhale, exhale. Then see if you can go more. And this arm turn, move it. Make sure again you're touching the outer hip to the wall. And then you can catch here. Catch here. And using your hands to turn when you exhale. And inhale, come up. Sit in Padrasana and relax. For the last variation, we'll not use the wall, but this awareness should be already inside your body, so you should keep the thigh, the thigh of the back leg, perpendicular at all times. And here we use the chair at the back. So the chair is upright on the right side. So here the chair on the right side at the back, left thigh perpendicular and again knee and heel in line, turn the thigh out to move the buttock in, tighten the buttock, lift yourself, inhale, exhale, catch the leg of the chair here and then continue to go down, to go down, you can rest your head on the back rest of the chair but then from here catch the leg of the chair and catching the leg of the chair you can put your hand down and turn but again lift the inner thigh here the left right buttock deep in and exhale and turn to look up so use the left hand to pull the handle of the chair and turn try to go sl slightly down 
and you can make an attempt to go to the final pose and come up. So you feel your waist now are extending on the other side. Nice, so kneeling, inhale, foot, make sure there's a correct shape of the pose, chair is in place, inhale, exhale, leave around, catch the leg of the chair, and then bend this arm, catch here, and use the hands to turn. to go slightly more down so you put the left hand down on the floor make sure your kneecap the left kneecap is in it's pulled up buttock is in and then try to go slightly down and okay so we did few preparations for Parigasana, sit quietly in Vajrasana and just observe what you feel, especially the some flow and movement on the sides of the body, close your eyes, observe the distance now between the hips and your armpits. And then we just do, to finish, Adumukha Shvanasana, which is a symmetrical pose in which you can extend the sides of the body. So after extending each side separately, now extend both sides. So you go into Adumukha Shvanasana, you extend back, you move your thighs back, inner thighs, outer thighs, evenly back and Pull yourself back and up and enjoy the extension at the sides of the body. Yeah, move away from your hands, extending from the armpits to the palms and from the armpits to the hips. Open the armpits and release your head down. Then bend your knees, Adho Mukha Virasana, relax. And Shavasana. So this was not a complete class. We didn't do inversions. We just worked, concentrated on one pose. But this is a way to improve yourself in the pose and you can combine this in your practice and add some more poses to this before or after the Parigasana. Arrange yourself in Shavasana, rolling the shoulders, moving the back away from the lumbar, stretching your legs, stretching your arms and relax. You take a few minutes to relax in Shavasana, observing your breath. And observing how gradually the breath becomes slower, softer, smoother, smaller. The eyes soft, receding into the sockets, and the eyelids are covering the eyeballs. Eyebrows are moving away from each other. The 
surrender the front of your body into the back of your body and into the floor, into the earth. Surrender the front of the brain to the back of the brain to the floor to the earth. Be quiet there. And to finish your Shavasana, inhale slightly deeper. Exhale. Inhale again deeper, slightly deeper. Exhale, bend your legs and put your feet down. Inhale, exhaling, move your right arm on the floor, the arm straight, and until it comes close to your ear. The arm is straight, and then turn to your right side, so you put your right ear on your right upper arm, and the left hand on the floor. Stay on the right side. And then, with a circular movement, come up, sit upright on the blanket, change the crossing of your legs, join your hands in front of your chest and reflect. So even though it was not a full sequence, and we didn't practice inversions, Still observe the state of your mind. At the end of this uh, short session, if you experience more stillness, more space inside the body and the mind. And this is all for this session. Thank you.